said that the spur controls everything. The conversation is dominated by the spur. Over the next two hours or however long they stay sober, you will lose intelligence. Enjoy that a Thursday. Your hosts, Dawn and Rhea, Mafoon, and some shitty guests. Uh, it's, a DS, it's a DST. Oh, I saw mine too, don't I? All right. For now, well, it's the Covops Club. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to this week's Theta Thursday. Holy shit, Mafune. What a fucking week, man. It's Thursday. I'm so already. excited. We got giveaways, bud. Oh, well, you can we take Dirk indeed. off the screen. He's not here, so uh, put well, me on. You know what? Yeah, I will. All right, go ahead and talk some amongst yourselves while I fix. We got, we got special shit. guests. We got people that are not are normally not here that are special guests. But Hi, we'll introduce Chet. everybody. Am we I got Ghoster. Special? We got Avon, which are kind of normals. We've got, like, uh, Syndic, who is <laughs> normal. And we've got our special guest tonight, Kosi Chai. Welcome, Kosi. Kosi you know? is uh, a... Are you head of cohort oh, now, or are you just... No, no, I do FC things. I'm okay. the director of Fleet Command. Nice. What does that entail? What do you got to do for that? Uh, honestly, basically my job is, like, babysitting FCs when they do dumb things. Um, and then kind of, like, coordinating the training material and paying people and that kind of fun stuff. Uh, so a lot of my job is just basically writing Word documents on how to run fleets, uh, which is super engaging. Is it rewarding? You, uh, you know, it really is. Like one of one of the best things about my job is like I get to watch people develop as FCs, like from a strategic and like a critical standpoint. So like people people that started the game at like the same time I, that I did, I get to watch them, you know, kind of full grow through um, the ranks of skirmish commanders and QDs and then fleet commanders. Um, which is really cool to see, like like people that are developing and really interested in learning, uh, like my guy Sonrier, for example. It, it's just so rewarding to watch them like learn from the baby steps and do adult FCs. I remember you when you were a baby FC. Yeah, it wasn't so long ago. No, it wasn't. It was fun though. You had some good fleets, man. Hold on, I gotta ask. Do we have a chroma key going somewhere? On just Avon's computer? Uh, so what's Ava- happening? No, Look at Avon's boobies. <laughs> no, what <laughs> I did, what I did is I, I, I tried to eliminate the black trim that Discord has, and I tried the quick and easy solution, which ends up being just chroma keying the color black. Oh, he's so having a Avon's dart. Avon's t-shirt. We would like to point out, we this is uh, Befitting pointed out, by the way, this was our first ever hype train on Theta Thursday. So, thank you for thank you everybody guys. who subscribed at the beginning of the show. Appreciate it. It's kind I'm of so check proud. Us here, obviously, that's right. Uh, but I'm really, really proud of our audience. Thank you, thank you so much. That, uh, that that it made me tear up a little bit, and like the guys had to console me before the show. Yeah, he's being a giant <laughs> <laughs> kitty cat with the ears. What do you mean, Don? You've got cute little ears on. So you're oh, being a giant you. kitty cat. What's oh, your dog's thanks, name, uh, Avon? Oh, he can't speak, can he? Oh, yeah. Avon, he's always what's up? He, was, he was speaking a minute ago. Oh, on the topic of him. cat ears, I've been oh. trying to get, I've been trying to oh. get our uh, CSM representatives to get Titans on cat ears for like a year and a half now. I really hope it comes true. I would pay Iskies for that. Yeah, fucking same. For what? Would you spend your Toonies Iskies for that, Greg? I would. For cat ears. Titan cat ears. Oh, that's cool. Also, I'd like to point out that Commissar just gifted five tier one subs, so thank you for the gift. Thank you so much. Fucking right, bud. It's the first time we've ever seen gifted subs in our chat, too, so yay! Yeah, Boy, when I saw when I saw when I saw when I saw four digits after his name, I didn't expect him to be four random digits. I for sure was expecting something else. What were you expecting, like A one one three or some shit? 
Yep, that. And the first- <laughs> that just leaves that one alone. So no, the giveaways no, 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 we no, got that, tonight. Right. Yeah, the giveaways we got tonight. So you've got the thing working. You know how to do it now? No. No, I, didn't, I wasn't talking to you, Don. I was talking to fucking Buffune, our, our illustrious technical producer. So I've got, I've got partners, partner skins, right? Like this, these are some some high value, high end skins. Can do I enter to, in this shit? Sure. They're do super we, serious guys. Do, do we want to give one away now? Uh, yeah. Sure. Let me right pull up. Let's do the let's do the Prowler one. Okay, so we'll do we'll give away a prowler. I don't know what's a prowler. Can somebody bring up? It's a br. It's a blockade uh, runner. Blockade runner. Yeah. No, it's a blockade uh, runner. Okay. I said it was a DST, and I was incorrect. Someone in chat corrected me. Just to be clear, I didn't know that. I believe it's Minmatar T, right? Yeah, it is. It's yeah, yeah it's the T two wreath, I believe. Anyways, and, we got for running for gate for running gate camps. It's high, it's fucking real good shit. I really like it for running gate camps. I think I think it might have been the only one. It had an extra high back in the day. I don't know if that's gone through, like proceeded through, but it used to be the only one you could do like Kovops cloak, uh, probe launcher, and a blob sino on. We can do a shout out quick to okay. uh, to Mifune, who is has been streaming uh, under CCP's uh, careful watch and doing some really cool Eve stuff as a Eve partner, and uh, we'd like to congratulate him on that. And uh, it's good to see that his streaming career is moving forward. So, if you guys uh, don't know, All Mifune right. also has his own streaming channel. Oh, we have a raffle going. Up. We do have the raffle going. Do exclamation point join for the raffle. Should um, I? Would it be bad taste if I did it myself? I'm <laughs> joining. But uh, <laughs> I so have it, so. so basically, this is for a prowler skin, which is apparently yeah. some kind of blockade runner or something. I don't know. I don't play this game. Well, yes, I do, but I don't play. Cynic, you screwed it up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Did I really? I was wondering if that would work. Your your algorithm's a piece of shit because that worked. So in the meantime, we well, didn't done. invent it. We'll give we'll right. give it a couple minutes before we do the wrap. I don't well, know. It's it's, 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 a, it's set thing. for 180 seconds, so people That's- had. It'll, uh, 135 seconds left. So there you guys go. What's that in hours, Mufune? Uh, <laughs> Greg. 360th. So one. Come on, buddy. We're just dividing anyway, by zeros <laughs> here. That's all we're doing. Anyway, but as Greg was saying, yeah, I had the uh, the great pleasure to take part in the summer of streams that CCP is doing right now. Uh, they're encouraging a bunch of EVE streamers to come stream on the CCP channel. Um, and I went on this week, uh, it was really fun, uh, especially because, uh, I did a little bit of a ballsy move and I ran abyssals and null sec with the system showing and null <laughs> on a CCP official stream. So that was fun. And I had, uh, I had like six or seven dudes start pouring themselves into Delve trying to come grab me. Uh, but did they? No, they didn't. And uh, the then, I'm just... uh, but then I went on a roam, and I legitimately had the entirety of what was it like six hundred people decide what ship I was gonna fly, what type of fitting I was gonna fly. We theory crafted the thing together, and then we started going out. Um, fun thing was I completely avoided getting bubbled from uh, Slice. Slice tried to bubble me. I'll be right back. Yeah, it was pretty fun. I so, watched a little bit of it, and uh, and it, it looks like it looked like you were having fun, which is the main thing, right? Like, oh no, one hundred percent. With this whole entire space game, win or lose, it's having fun is it's the main thing. Especially when you're doing like dumb roam stuff like that. Like that's hilarious. I miss that shit. We used to go fight brave. They used to give good fights. Now we are fucking head to head. Facing off against those fucking poppies again. And we're doing pretty good uh, in GU Tech. Kosicek, how are we doing? Are we doing pretty good? I think we're winning. 
in GE? Like, yeah. like I, currently I, I, or I, I, in general? There's, 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 there's apparently a fight going on right now. now but no, there is a, a fight going on right now. Oh, is there? Now. Yeah. yeah. Hey, your there raffle is. ended, Mifune. Uh, Marcus won it. Marcus. Commander Cotton Fluff. Marcus. Marcus. Fucking fix. <laughs> Marcus Aurelius. No, no, Marcus not Tang- Marcus Aurelius. Tangle is whatever not. Okay, Marcus. Marcus. All right, Marcus. I will. Uh, I will whisper you the key. Yeah, he's here. He's paying attention. Uh, yeah. IGN, I'm sorry. I wish we had the same IGN commissar bot thing that CCP has on their channel. Well, whisper it into the mic. Get real close, <laughs> Greg. Just start reading out the numbers for the code. Seven, I... nine, <laughs> X. No, it's, it's, it's one, two, <laughs> three, four, five. It's the same combination to Mitten's luggage. Just DM that's actually my on Eve password to you. That, that's for those that love the movie. Password. That's the password to steal the air from the planet Iridia. All right, Marcus, can you confirm that that worked? Because I pressed, a, I pressed like enter, and then something weird came up on my screen. Well, confirm you in your. It, you didn't put it in the main chat, so. No, I didn't put it in the main chat. I, I whispered it. Just like respond to me, please. Why did you just send it to him on Discord? I could have sent it to him on Discord. Wha- <laughs> Jesus! God, I finally get the giveaway bot to work thanks to Jinja. He's got it. And then y'all sit there and do horrible at giving away the prize. Yeah, we should give a shout out to uh, <laughs> to Ninja Flame and to Life Shifter, who uh, are a valuable part of our INN and Theta Thursday team. Thank you very much. You duders rock. So, um, so yeah, I guess there's a fight currently going around. I don't know if it's actually going or not, but they were hustling up the 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 troops. So, it, watch us while you're on that fleet. Encourage everybody to go and hang out there. And um, other than, uh, well, I guess Cozy, I Greg had some questions for you about being an FC for the Imperium. I believe. Yeah, how do we, how does one become uh, an FC for the uh, for the Imperium? Yeah, it's kind of a a simple answer, right? Like you're you're in some Imperium Corporation starting requirement, obviously, um, and then like from there, there's a group in the Alliance that you can find on the forums called Skirmish Commanders, and all you do is apply to that group. Myself or, or one of my um, handy friends will accept the application. And then basically from there, you kind of hit the ground running. There's a ton of resources in there that kind of teach you like, how to run a fleet, how to set it up, how to like join comms and things. Um, and then kind of you just take the ball and run with it. Um, you know, the, the coordination team will ping the, so the skirmish commanders group if they have work to do. But uh, otherwise, you know, go find stuff to shoot and shoot it. It really is that simple. We can post uh, Goonfleet links, like forum links in the chat, can't we? It won't really help. Yeah, but like if you're in if you're in the Imperium, you can click on the link. If you're not, I think they can get find fucked. it relatively easily. Yeah, just like search skirmish commanders, you'll find it. I posted it anyways. All right. Anyway, so yeah, if you want to uh, if you want to do that, and uh, like it, it's a lot of fun. Oh, unfair, unfortunately, Cynic has to leave us. He's going to see horror. a man about a horse or something. I hope that isn't a drug reference. Maybe seeing a horse about a man? That we'll, could we'll be, too. I, I do love the floor can that we're getting, by the way. Uh, Avon, what's in your fridge? He's still Avon, should I see my fridge? Show us your cottage cheese. No, that's no, not actually, a euphemism. I got a piece of fat cake. I got a uh, uh, chocolate cream pie cake. Sounds good. Oh, that sounds, looks really good. Bro, Except did for, like, you the... bring enough for all of us? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
But um, I'm trying to think of when did you come back? Was it a couple months ago or was it at the end of the war? Because yeah, you were taking a break. So, so, like, I started in like 2019 and then was here until like the middle ish of the war uh, when I burnt out. And then I took like a couple months off, like like six months off, I think. And then I came back for like the last month before T5Z got abandoned um, and hilariously laughed at that and went to play WoW again for a couple more months. Uh, and I came back about two-ish months ago now, two and a half months probably at this point. So and then Ooh, what do you just... Jumped right back into where you were before. Hold on, Kosi. This is this is a pondering question. As someone in chat goes, new FC fleet should get two hundred percent SRP. It encourages people to join. How much do you want to bet that would make Atrum cry? That would, but mostly <laughs> like not because like you're giving more money out, just because it's a sheer paperwork pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's outrageous. so much fun. It's so much fun though, like going on on new FC fleets, right? Because you're like, you can you can say, oh yeah, I was on that dude's first fleet, and it could be like the next Asher or something. Yeah, so like, I got into FCing because I went on someone's first fleet, like legitimately my second or third fleet in Goon Swarm was someone's first fleet, like ever FCing. And we went over to Brave Space and just like shot Caracals in a Hawdred. Uh And it was like the most fun I had had in a video game at that point in my life, uh, which was a blast. So like going on those first fleets, that's always super enjoyable. Do you remember who the dude was? Uh, not really. I don't think he's in Goons anymore. I think he did uh, end up going inactive at some point, but. I don't remember. Uh, Zip Slings might have been his name, I think. I think that's the guy. Now, Mifune, you're a, a up-and-coming young uh, fleet commander. How do you how do you enjoy it? I, I you've love... been taking out a lot of fleets lately, like, compared to uh, like a month ago. Yeah, so the thing is, I love FCing in EVE. It is one of my favorite activities to do, and thank God... School is almost finished. Um, work has like actually been okay because I'm not the only person working in my station finally. Uh, so we actually have co workers that you know where I can have a night off. Uh, so it's fun, it's definitely fun. I love doing it. Um, I would say hopefully, hopefully, I can move to point in life where i don't have to work every single friday night because it's a it's a real pain in the ass when all your friends are out drinking and yeah i'm i'm at a bar but the bar i work at and i'm working instead of being able to actually enjoy my weekend dude you're 21 chances are you're gonna have to work weekends a lot it's all right it's not a big deal weekends and afternoons builds character (laughs) Yeah, it, honestly, it's the best time to work, right? Like, you don't have anything else to do, so, like, make that dank money, bro. And then, uh, Ghoster, uh, well, Ghoster fucking left, I just realized that, sorry. There's uh, a question yeah. in chat, Don. Oh, is there a question in chat? What's yeah, the most the Commander fri- Cotton Fluff. What is the most frustrating thing about FCing, uh, goons? Oh, God. That's a list. Um, the The most frustrating thing to me is like, no matter what we do, there will always be like twenty to thirty goons that just don't listen to anything that anyone says. So like, you'll tell them to anchor up, and like twenty minutes later, they'll be sitting where you warped in in the middle of a six fleet engagement, and it's just like, brah, approach me, come on. <laughs> that that's the worst part to me. <laughs> Now, do you abuse the regroup button? Because uh, I find that the regroup button punishes those who actually do anchor up properly like myself. I am the best line member ever, by the way. Yeah, so, like, you have to use it because of the people that can't listen to, like, follow directions. But, like, inherently, it's 
objectively bad for your fleet like especially in like like gunboats right like if you're in munins and you're bad at controlling your speed like if you're bad and are like screwing up your anchoring your munins tracking will go to shit so like the regroup button sucks but it's a good thing to have because people can't follow directions so it's kind of a i don't know you're screwed either way basically right serve two evils yeah Well, just so you know, my chocolate cream pie, Greg, was delicious, so you can live vicariously through me tasting it, because it might kill you if you made it. Yeah, I wonder how many units of insulin I'd have to take to eat it. Yeah, I'm still waiting on my slice to arrive, thanks. Mifun, what's your least favorite thing about FC and Goons? Uh... I would say my least favorite thing would probably be certain certain snowflakes. Like, you just have that one snowflake that does something so incredibly stupid during the fleet. Um, it's always the director. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fucking worst. No, I had a... There was a guy that... It was like, what was it? 30 minutes before strat op. Um... And he's mining in Aquarius and calling in Delve 911 for help, not even within super cap range of 1DQ whatsoever. And I said, you know what? Screw it. We got 30 minutes. People are hungry for blood. So we went out there to go save him. Um, and this guy brings his super alt into the system in my fleet and warps with us to his own Oracle. So we're Jesus warping, Christ. and we're we're on an eighty AU warp to this ice belt, and the entire flycatcher fleet is moving the speed of a super. God damn it! It's so true. It's I like did, it's like, did that. So I did that once. I did that once with my revelation for sure. I'm. <laughs> I didn't know when I'd rejoined it. I didn't know if you were telling a story about me or not, but I definitely fucking did that to a fleet. I don't. I think this might be the biggest. It wasn't all number. purpose. Hold on. Uh, Sada's just subscribed for eighty-seven months. Is that the number one we've seen? Jesus, I think Sadis. so. That's a long yeah, time. It's dude. up there. Thanks, yeah. Sadis. 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 Oh my Sadis. god. Sadis, Sorry, I just had to break in there. Hold up, Sadis. You have to tell us. Was WoW the first MMO? Was it? I want to know why seven, seven, eight, seven, eight years. years. Before. I would. I, I Twitch I, I even existed for eight years. No, so I I've been watching like a lot of Aswin Gold like this week out of boredom and just because I think the guy is funny. And I the first thing that popped in my head was, wouldn't it be funny to shove Aswin Gold and Sadis in a room together? With Sadis just constantly bugging him that WoW was the first MMO. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying WoW was the first MMO, but I am currently playing it, so... Same. Well, according to the Dr. Googles, it was Never Winter Nights in 1991. No, wasn't it that one with Lord Britannia or whatever that was the first MMO? Uh, was I was saying 1991, Never Winter Nights, followed shortly after by Legends of Future Past in 92. So Sadis is still oh, claiming it. So wow. I think I yeah. So I think I'm going to argue Sadis's point for him uh, that, that none of none of those none of those actually achieved the status of massively. They may have been multiplayer online role playing games, but they were bigger than the fucking two you just listed, and more like wow. My first MMO was uh, a game called Asheron's Call, and uh, I still talk to the dudes that I uh, I played with. It's pretty funny. I actually played with uh, Ron USMC. Is he a Marine, by the way? Beats a fucking me, man. Does anybody know? Probably. I, he says Ron he USMC, is. He was a former Marine, I thought. There are no former Marines. Yeah, whatever. whatever. What about you, Syndic? What was the first uh, the first RuneScape? It was it was RuneScape to Guild Wars One to Eve for me, I believe. 
I didn't play. I didn't play best MMO. It, fuck yeah, dude! I didn't play. I didn't play WoW until like the first time I played WoW was around like I think it was like the Pandalands expansion. Like yeah, I was real late to the game on WoW. Now it's just like now that I get it, it's it's fun to play a healer and do heal bot. But uh, yeah, RuneScape was my shit. Meet me at the Green Drags. I'll tell you how to make a ton of money by following me into the wilderness. Come on. God. I fell for that one time. See, I... uh... 55 Monk Commander Cotton Fluff is my boy. 55 Monk, man. I did that quest so many times, like blitz dudes through to get that, uh, the minus like 60 HP or whatever. Like you had to get that offhand that subtracted you from a one of, so it was minus 50 because it was a one of five monk versus a 55 monk. Yeah, that was my shit. There was a spell, there was a spell that meant that you, that made you only lose 10% max of your health per hit. So in you what? in Guild Wars. So you right. would just you would just like run an entire build that ba- like just nuked your health into the ground. And there's like a piece of shit like level eight quest item that gives you minus fifty health, and that brought you down to fifty five health. And then you just heal through it with like hots. It was pretty cool. It was a fun thing. So for me, I started out with Star Wars Galaxies. Moved on to WoW with Cataclysm. Played through Cataclysm, played through Mits of Pandera. Quit WoW, started playing, what was it, Neverwinter? I played Neverwinter for like a year. Um, then I went to Star Wars The Old Republic uh, before it went free to play. Left it when it went free to play. Then I did Eve. Quit Eve, went back to WoW played through Legion and played through Battle for Azeroth, quit WoW again, and then came back to EVE. So it's been... It's been weird for me. Greg, we have another skin, right? Fuck yeah! We got another giveaway. I see we got... It's been 15 minutes. Let's start another one. Uh, Do you want to do another one? Yeah, why not? This one's pretty... uh, This one's a pretty good skin. It's for one of those... uh, uh, What are they called? E-Cat... Hey, he, hang on. He, he, he cat. He Kate. He Kate. All right, y'all ready? I believe you mean Hecate. Yep. There you, you go. made it pronounce the yeah. ship correctly. There you go, guys. Giveaway is up. Do excellent uh, point. Join, not raffle. It's join, status. Join. And uh, by the way, it is Hecate. The correct pronunciation is Hecate. Sure about like, the- like the Mexican beer, right? Uh, I believe it's actually Greek based. Uh, Greek don't Do the understand? Greeks don't make beer. Has anybody had any Greek beer? No, we have I, to talk I mean, to our buddies at Rampage about that because they they're the beer experts. Let's see, you gotta look. Oh, it, it's that goddess, so you'd have to look what pantheon that was under. I... No. Yeah, Hecate is a goddess. It is Greek. It's either Greek yeah. or Roman. I, I can't remember my it's mythology. Greek. It's Greek, Greek and it's, it's pronounced Greek. Hecate, not Hecate. No, it's yeah. Hecate. It's no, gotta it's he- be. It's Hecate. The, the Greek goddess is Hecate. Oh my god, Jesus. Well, what what else are you going to do? See, so Sadis is saying it's Hecate, and I'm I'm apt to, to believe Sadis because, you know, Sadis. I'd, I'd just say Hecate. Look, Brisbane uh, Ball yeah. agrees with me, and that's all that fucking matters, okay? Oh, this is this is some this is some major drama over the pronunciation of a ship here. Like this is probably the biggest fucking drama we've seen all week. <laughs> so two oh, minutes on. Close to the sun. <laughs> so. <laughs> Well, how much time's left, Mifune? Is there like a timer? It, it, yeah, it's it's only only two, 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 mi- it two minutes for some. Two minutes for yeah. someone to walk over all those anti-personnel mines. Greg just left laying in the pasture for you. Yeah, say this is right. It's pronounced Gila, not not Gila or Gila. Gila. What about, what about uh, Gila? It's Gila for sure. I didn't. I, uh, 
I always said Gila. Gila is stupid because you don't you don't make any like they they actually have a theme for each of these races, and you don't make any of the other G's into H's, so that one never held water for me. It's almost like Hecate, they're, they're Hecate, on languages. Hecate, yeah, yeah, it's all yeah, yeah. Fuck off. It's a. Uh, it's, I mean, Hecate, Hecate, like I could kind of take either one, but it's not Gila. The lizard is a fucking Gila monster, right? So it's fucking Gila. It's not a Gila monster. No, the Gila monster. No. <laughs> I just wish CCP would have not picked things that were for their names that weren't so. Hard to what? pronounce. What's what? the race that does like so the one of number? The, hang on. One of the few things CCP has done right is theming their ship names. Like yeah, they theme it. Mythology but... and, like, have you ever... Okay. So I mean, why? Are... They do like the... They, I know they did like the Norse mythology for Mimitar with the Ragnarok and the... um Literal, like, Sir almost Lewis. all of them. Two different races there. Sorry, that. Sorry, I don't know why I said Cerberus. I've been reading a lot of stuff on this side and watching the the channel and the chat while uh, while we've been talking. So Cerberus was the uh, the three headed dog that guarded the gates of hell or something, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a good. I mean, boy. Why would you need a fucking guard at the gates of hell? Who's trying to break into hell? Uh, it says a feels, lot of feels, living hold on. trying to break the dead out. It says feels good man won uh, one point. No, 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 no. Uh, what? It's Symbiotes is the name of the guy that won. Oh, Symbiotes. Symbiotes, yeah, sorry. We all know I'm terrible at pronunciation. Oh, hey, hey, okay, sorry, Symbiotes, you have won the uh, the Hikate, Hikat, Hikate, Hikate skin. And um, just if uh, I believe if Greg has it, so he's going to whisper it to you. I might, I might buy a, I might buy a Gila skin just to keep this argument going. <laughs> there you donated go. the stream. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that in a few minutes. All right. So symbiotes, if you check your whispers, which is in the top right corner, top right corner of your screen, uh, there'll be a whisper for me, like a little message. And there's a code there. There's it's it tells you what the ship is. It says, "Oh, you got it." There you go. He says thanks. Okay, so you know how to redeem that because I'm not really sure. It's easy. Um, yeah, Dawn would know how to redeem it because she redeems all her partners. Oh uh, yeah, all the all the skins I get, I keep. <laughs> I get I, that's my benefit for doing doing this, and I like my ships looking cool, and I use them. So, um, now back. With Eve a little bit, did I see like that they were going to be having some of the faction warfare stuff coming out soon? Yeah, or was so that just they, a rumor? No, they put out a tweet today of really like this is the semi uh, lore whore uh, in me. Um, Eve posted a tweet today. Damn, I, I'm not logged into my Twitter at the moment, but they posted a, a tweet today um, about Minimitar uh, rampaging onto war. And um, I think it's the start of what we're going to be seeing with the faction warfare changes. I think it's going to be the um, beginning narrative uh, for as to why faction warfare is changing. I'm super excited for the faction warfare changes. Like, unironically, I think it's going to be really cool. I hope. I'm looking at their Twitter now. I see some Spider Man meme. Wait, uh, some Spider Man meme? Yeah, the. um, d I know that they had talked about at FanFest kind of how they were going to make faction warfare kind of work. So. Are we actually going to be getting anything in game or are they going to start announcing the, is, is the next thing just going to be announcements towards the faction warfare stuff? Nobody the faction saw. 
Shakespeare stuff was the stuff that Aurora was working on, right? Right. The only interesting part of the entire fan fest. Yeah, so that shit's probably going to be done good. The rest of it, I wouldn't hold my fucking breath for. But whatever, that's just me. I think rats, I think rats off gates is on the list. Gamma. I, I think the CSM brought that up on the first summit. I think CCP Switch was joking about it a few uh, few weeks ago. I think that's in the works to fix that. We'll have to talk to our CSM representatives and make sure they're really heavy handed with uh, CCP on the rats off gates. Oh yeah, part. I mean um, the the. Um, the two heads of the security team uh, for CCP are ho- having like a, a, I guess you could call it an open discussion on the uh, official Eve Discord uh, about bots and about um, RMTers and stuff like that. And I'm I'm kind of gonna grill them. Uh, I'm gonna kind of grill them on the public source code of. Eve bots that are available online for free and why they aren't doing anything about it. Wait, there's free so I can, bots? Uh, I can, I mean, I can probably tell you the answer to that. The the bots that are just like going and mining from an asteroid belt in a point seven system, <clears throat> if they have like randomized delays built in, it's like be a real fucking pain in the dick to to track them all down beyond just like who's been on for 23 and a half hours every day for the last week which anyone with any sizable like botting organization is not going to do that they're gonna like run them in you know four six eight hour shifts um so like the the publicly available thing isn't uh Anyone using publicly available bots as they are, like as they stand now, it the re- they're not even making it a a percentage tick on like how much ISK is being RMD'd. That's a fair way to look at it. I'm starting to become curious how much botting these guys and these orcas are doing in ISEC now that you can compress with them in high. Probably not any less, right? Like high sec or is pretty useless currently. Yeah, I mean it's just it's just uh it's just titanium really. Like that that's the only thing. And well they got ice unfortunately, there too, and they can also get that uh can't they go get that trigladian bullshit. I don't know about any of the triggle diggle shit. The triggle diggle shit's uh beyond like, my triglavian understanding. Stuff, triglavian stuff has been going down um the price points for a lot of stuff with uh abyssals and caution and triglavians in general the cost has been going down greatly there's a lot of people botting it it's a work in progress right like we're we're hoping that ccp is actually doing something and i would imagine once uh the CSM gets uh, entrenched in in what they do for us. They're going to uh, push for a little more accountability in CCP, telling us what the fuck they're doing with our extra five dollars a month. Yeah, no, that's my hot take. They actually, uh, die natal forty one. I disagree with you. I think the CSM will push CCP to tell us what they're doing with our extra $5 a month. And then I think CCP is going to laugh behind closed doors and not do any of that and not tell them anything and not fucking care. Well, I mean, their last quarterly report, like they lost money, right? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I don't think CCP lost money, but... Maybe, maybe with the other two games they're developing, Eve certainly didn't lose any money. I think um, the high sec botting stuff isn't really as big of a problem as people think it is. Like, in no, terms it's of, not. No, it's not. Like, like, it, it's very small pool considered to what it used to be. Um, yeah, but I still feel like it is a valid and solid issue. I gotta give yeah. a shout out for a second 
Sorry to interrupt, but I see uh, our buddy Katana Fleet is in chat. Oh seven, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Uh, come hang out, please. We miss you. Come back to us, good sir. Anyway, right, sorry to cut you off, Chris. What were you saying? Oh, I see uh, Sadus in the chat too. I don't remember honestly. I got distracted. <laughs> You were uh, you were in the middle of saying you don't think uh, high sec botting is nearly the issue that it's being worked up to be. Oh yeah, yeah. Like like I'm sure that it brings in some isk, right? But like it's nothing compared to what FRT did or is doing in null sec ratting bonds, right? So like I don't know. I don't think I don't think it's nearly the problem that like the the privatized portion of botting is i think the the public free shit like that's uh, pretty pretty small in my opinion speaking of problems fucking alterary phoenix just joined us <laughs> hi, hi, hi hello hi. lover should Listen. is this thing on yes it's on hello, are you gonna hello, hop on Ray? are you gonna hop on camera for us i am not, not today jesus okay. don thirsty enough no, <laughs> I just said he goes. He's like been the on the more lately. So, what news do you bring of the front line? Because I've been watching you doing a lot of fleets, Alterari. Yeah, um, we just got into a fight with fire and yeah. killed their entire fleet, with the exception of three battleships. Well, what was what was versus what? It was nightmares and TFIs versus eagles and serbs and we basically got on them in zero and yeah we killed and so it's spread across two systems because it was a fortazar timer so we didn't form for the fortazar timer initially and then uh the total battle report right now is 71.8 killed to 76.6 lost including the fortazar if you take that off give me a second If you go down to just the system that we fought in, it's 50 bill killed to 15 lost. It's not bad. Bad a boy. Not at all. Pretty good. Shines is awesome. Damn good FC. Yeah, his fleets are fun too. Yeah. yeah, great person to learn from. I love Shines. He's such a nice guy. He gives me, he gives me a heart attack when it comes to the way he calls targets out. Like, bro. Why is he just fast or how does he do it? No, he. Um, the way he does it requires like put the letter of the person you're shooting in fleet with guns. Like, works with missiles, not with guns, for me at least. Wait, does he do like three, two, one shoot or no? Just when you're shooting it, put the initial in fleet. And that's for like everybody that's shooting, or yeah, it can be pretty effective to be honest. No, absolutely, it works for it him. Just feels it won't weird. work for me. Yeah. It doesn't work for me either. I tried it once upon a time. Yeah, I'm a this is your target until it dies kind of guy. Now, Alterari, we do have a question. Is it Hecate? Hecat? Hecate? Hecate? Or how do you pronounce it? How do I pronounce it? Hecate. Yeah. See? I'm winning. How do you already. pronounce the Dreadger, or the, yeah, the, the Gris, Gris, the, yeah, there you go. The Gris, the that? medium, the medium drones one. Uh, I, do it, um, I was gonna say, I do the way <laughs> Asher which is it Gila. Uh, it's clearly French. I pronounce it as FRT Bont. <laughs> That's pretty good, man. Gila. So, uh, but. Other than that, um, well, is there... it's like giant and lap. It's Jyla. Ask oh, Alterari the same question that I asked Kosacek. What question is that? What's your least favorite part of FCing for Game Swarm? Oh, Jesus. Um, this or, is the loaded the most, No, question. he said frustrating. It was the actual term. What's the most frustrating part about hey, FCing what's up? Goons? Hey, what's up, baby? <laughs> what's up, sweetheart? <laughs> Having Syndix for Aspup come on your fleet? Um, so... When I was first learning to FC and I was starting out as a skirmish commander, I think the most frustrating part was like getting people to listen. But now that I'm like known, I guess is how I'd put it, people listen really well and I don't really have a whole lot of frustrations. People are really good on my fleets and there's a lot of competence that's shown. 
So I wouldn't really be able to identify frustration. God, you're too nice. I mean, I don't have any issues. I haven't (laughs) had any. I would say most of your most of your frustrations must be internal, then, right? All of my frustrations are when Blurkus doesn't listen to what we're doing and just pisses me off. Who? Blurkus. That's right. I'm calling you out if you're watching, dude. I don't know. That is fuck that guy. <laughs> nah, he's a he's a young. Uh, nah, uh, fuck it. that guy. He, Let's go. Oh, we're gonna think... we're gonna rally something up tonight. Uh, no, nah, I don't think we need to. You know what? Uh, you know what the big fucking drama was this week, though. What everybody got with their fucking Amazon Prime Day fucking sale, man. Oh, Did I anybody score? Just some groceries, like normal. I, I got, lemmings that jump. I don't have issues with lemmings because I don't typically like if you jump, you die. I don't care. We have SRP for a reason. I did not realize Prime Day was coming up. And so the day before Prime Day started, I purchased myself an entire new PC build um, that is arriving by Tuesday, which I'm very excited about, but didn't get any Prime deals on. <laughs> What'd you get, Kosi? Um,. I didn't get a graphics card yet, but I'm going to buy a 3080 probably this weekend. Um, and then I bought an i9, I don't know, whatever the newest one is. And just kind of the bucket of like middle high end stuff. So decided to stay nice. Intel, huh? Yeah. I Intel like is shitty for the price bracket, but it's like still better, <laughs> right? So like you, you pay know. more but get better performance in my I, I am I'm actually with him on this one. Like I I I get that if you just put them up on a benchmark test that like some of the AMD like eight hundred and forty fucking core whatever monstrosity they've made that'll That's cook a I goddamn have. egg. Like I get that it might outperform it in benchmarks, but it's not better like to just have. Yeah. Like, like I can have an Intel that's gonna sip power and not have my fans running at a hundred percent all day every day and and you know it's gonna be ninety two percent as effective or whatever like so and enjoy like i I think it was Randy McSoggy Botto. Somebody, somebody legit tried to cook an egg on top of their PC once. Like they had like an AMD monstrosity build, and like, wow, I wouldn't have eaten the egg. It got kind of cooked. What the fuck want- is a Randy McSoggy bottle? It's a my, dude. It's a man. AMD stays it's a person. Really cool. I watched somebody use their computer to heat up frying oil to make fries. <laughs> That's actually what? like pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, they just like overclocked the shit out of it, and we're like, "Go!" And so they just had their computer on its side and sealed it up enough so the oil wouldn't come out. And the thing ran with oil all over the, all the parts, and they That's fried the thing fries. You can in there. get you can get like oil submerged computers that still work just fine. I have heard you, about that. Have you seen the guy that water cooled his PC with vodka a couple of years ago? That sounds, sounds so kind of inefficient. Dumb. It, it was actually about- he did a benchmark. It was surprisingly on par with most water cooling systems. I mean, liquids a liquid, it's liquid. Yeah, but it's vodka instead of like thermal water or whatever the fuck they call it. Thermal water? I don't fucking they don't, know what they, they don't, call it. They don't. They don't call it that. Is that similar to alcohine water? <laughs> Hey, possibly. Yeah, can I have some thermal I water? My, my IT teacher would be heavily disappointed in me. But I, Hi, you know, not not like, as disa- not as disappointed as they are in themselves for ending up being a quote IT teacher. You're not wrong. I got some They're pretty cool shit. I got some pretty cool shit for Prime Day, man. I got. Uh, I, I bought like a four pack of Hanes boxers. They were like super cheap. And then I got, uh, I got, I bought a hammock, like an indoor hammock thing, or it's an outdoor hammock, but I'm going to use it indoors. I'm probably not going to fucking use it at all, but it was cheap. And, uh, and I got one of these fire stick things. I don't have no fucking idea how to use it, but at least I got one now. And, uh, and then I, I bought, 
I bought a portable a port a uh, two pack of portable bidets. They're like it's like a jug, like it it looks like an enema jug, right? But it's not. It's like a you squirt like warm water onto your bum, and it apparently because I don't know if I'm gonna like a bidet or not. And they had bidets on sale, like the bolt on fucking tushies or whatever they're called. And I wasn't Man. gonna spend 150 bucks on that. So I'm gonna try it. I don't know if does anybody in chat use a bidet. Because Kumi was talking about like how nice his his bum hole feels after bidets, right? Oh my god, are we gonna have that conversation again? I I was gonna say we literally had a thirty five minute conversation about bidets earlier today. Okay, can we focus on game related stuff? That'd be nice. We're talking about we're talking about bidets, man. But yeah, okay. um, No, no. Do you think there's bidets in in the spaceships? I have a question for Altari and Kosichek. All right, uh, approach versus keep it range. Which do you guys prefer? Keep it range. Depends on where, which range you're at. Well, I mean, for anchoring. It honestly depends. Like, um, I typically prefer keep it range 2500 if I'm in a speed doctrine, if I'm in like munins and serves and stuff, or if I'm brawling, it's orbit me at 30. Yeah, it's really funny. Uh, uh, Alterari, is you guys seem to think that we listen to what you tell us to do. I always just keep it range 2500. You guys will be like, 2K! I'll be like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I am not typing anything in. It is whatever the default is. I don't not do that either. It. You know you can write <laughs> quick. You, you know you can I'm, write I'm not changing orbit. any of them. You're gonna get no, it. You don't have to change coming. anything. It's like a mouse over thing and it pops out and it gives you various ranges. It's always a thousand right. for me. But it's My favorite thing to do is the thing that annoys horrendous the most. I don't know what it is. It just kind of depends. Oh, just I, approach him with MWD on. I do it all the time. It's awesome. <laughs> No, I do exactly whatever I want to, Arandis. I have told FCs in fleet, no, we're not anchoring like that. Because what they wanted was suicide for the fleet. I was like, no, that's not going to work. No, no. So I definitely just undocked no, no. in my... So I went to that fight, obviously, in a monitor, but I definitely just undocked in a high-grade amulet pod with 6% wirings. Or 5%. I was going to say, why did, you, why did you fork over for the extra 6%, you nerd? Bro, I regularly end up in my high grade amulets. <laughs> yeah, Dude, I, I totally I, I took, I, I'm I, too I, lazy. I, I took I my high grade. A, I took my high grade amulets all the way to a deployment area, and then realized, like, oh fuck, my my Erebus is back in Delve. God damn it! How much more tanky is a monitor with a high grade amulet pod in it? Is the question? Not uh, um, so. Not, which, this, yeah, I man. had six hundred twenty thousand HP. But really, but really, if you catch one rep cycle, that's that's as tanky as you need to be. Then it's just do your reps keep up? Like the oh, never mind. I can't. On which ship? I can't explain my point well enough to actually like argue it. If anybody challenges me, so I'm gonna let it go. Okay. Well, we I mean, are com- but I can talk about how to approach with a fleet. Your point is correct, Syndic. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I just can't. I can't articulate the details of it. I know I'm fucking right, but I can't articulate it well enough that if somebody called me, I could actually stick up for myself. I usually try to do the opposite of Alterari. Uh, Horrendous is my saving grace when I'm bringing faxes on a fleet that I have like seven other pilots in. So I usually tell Horrendous before we undock, hey, this is Ghost Results oh. in a fax. If I'm doing something wrong, just yell at me. <laughs> oh, speaking of, I have a good, uh, I have a good, uh, I lost a super pod uh, in like a phantasm or something after we did like a remote repping badger combat op like drunk op and then i came back at a phantasm to try to mop up and didn't realize i had jumped into my high grade amulet and then also i died and got potted so i'll link you the kill mail in a second uh, there was a there was one point earlier this week where um i was in delve doing my abyssals and someone pinged that there was like a huge group of hostiles stealing an es no because it was in my system i got out of my abyssal trace 
and there were people in system stealing the ESS, so I'm burning my ass to one DQ in my Gila. Get in my FC ship. Gila. Ping, ping for, uh, I pinged for a mallet fleet with AB refit. So we went at these guys, and here I am in my uh, FC Ferox, because my monitor is in GE, uh, just casually taking the fleet into an ESS with my Abyssal pod still on. Like, my 5-bill Abyssal pod just still plugged into this clone's head. And, Here's uh, the real question. Hey, I got Robert. messaged today to um, buy a Fiend. Should I buy a Fiend and roll around in it in a high-grade pod? Always. Well, you hey, know, you, there's an... Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to shit up chat to go ahead. You're good. Uh, I was told to say, uh, RDMR, if you're listening, uh, Texas has your loot from your nightmare. It's an A-type and adaptives and stuff if you want it. Just uh, reach out to him on Discord. Is that one of the enemy nightmares? Yeah. And we're going to give him a... <laughs> Yeah, who cares? I've done that before. That's more. That's more nightmares to kill next time. Who gives a shit? Well, also, it frankly, it's. I mean, it's not like anybody's. <laughs> Never mind. So we are at the top of the hour, which uh, we're trying to keep the shows to one hour right now, since there's no gigantic war f- per se to watch. If uh, something interesting does come up to watch, such as a building uh, fight or something like that, we will definitely do it. But let's go ahead and just uh, run around the room for some final thoughts. So we'll just start at the top. Um, Ghoster, final uh, thoughts, shoutouts for the week. I missed most of the show because my dad came over with Dairy Queen uh, to talk about my vacation last week. But uh, That's okay. I don't know. Um, I'm glad we had fun friends on the show today. Um, maybe we'll actually have some fun fights later this week instead of, you know, just destroying all of your shit with with no with no fight. I, That's, all, That's about all I got. Avon, final thoughts for the week? Any shoutouts? I bought a fiend and uh, Sanchi. I, I hope you're all feeling good and better now. <laughs> did you just impulse buy a fiend? I did. What do you mean you bought a fiend? <laughs> I bought a fiend. Oh, he said tell like, us you bought a feed. If you were listening four it. like four minutes ago, he joked um, about buying a feed. I'm and sorry, then I'm clearly, reading a bunch of messages. He, so. It was on voice chat. I got a good go, deal on a feed. Go on with your round table. All right. So Greg, final thoughts? Oh, I'm back. Sorry, I had to leave. My blood sugar started going low, so I gotta slam a coffee out of my uh my sector six apparel uh goon swarm mug. If you want to buy one of these uh, from like uh, Sector Six Apparel, is it is scroll it down and, and uh, nice? Dude, it's a sixteen ounce, I think sixteen ounces <clears throat> mug, and the fucking thing is uh, like bulletproof. Okay, is it's it? Probably is not. it? It's probably not. Yeah. Th- Do you want to find out? No, we <laughs> don't. No, be whipping out guns and stuff. Oh, that's right, you Americans. Have... No, he's got a, a drink to pour in his. Here's the real oh, question. Right. During Vegas, would I, should I wear a Fappy gaming shirt or the Mind One shirt if I bring one? Both, because there's oh, more than one day of Vegas. You can are Vegas t- are tickets on sale for yeah. Vegas? And it, Vegas? How do you apparently, get them? Avon... Oh, we should do that as a raffle, Avon. For, like, no, one lucky no, winner. <laughs> no. <laughs> X up in, uh, in the Twitch if you're going to Vegas. Some re- okay. people reach yeah, who's going to Vegas? If anybody that's watching I, um, is going to Vegas, make sure I'm looking at you for an X, babe. <gasps> Cozy, yay! So, it, so uh, just a side note before we continue with final thoughts. Uh, and so, Pleb, I like is cool to find and hang out with at Vegas. Um, so, uh, it is a rule now that when Sadis is gambling, I cannot be within like 25 feet of him because I am bad luck for Sadis. I literally had a. I I walked over to his table and he lost a thousand dollars in like eight he minutes. He did a fun deodorant a ticket to Vegas so he can come and, <laughs> and bug Sadis. It's it gotta be him. awesome. Teodorant in Vegas. I would I put a hundred dollars. You know, uh, I, I might. I might fucking if if y'all do that, I might make a showing. I will get Teodorant sitting to right Vegas next to under under one condition. Dare What's I that? Continue, Greg. 
<laughs> Probably Wait, not. What? what does he want? What do you Dio want? Would, Dio would have never. Eh, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Let's discuss it in things. Yeah, yeah, shut the yeah, fuck yeah. up. Yeah. Let's not push the vibe. I'm getting. Uh, okay, so we did Greg with his mug and his blood sugar. Uh, Al Terrari, final thoughts, shout outs for the week? Um, I don't have anything. Thanks. Though. Okay. Close to check. Uh, I don't really have anything. Sondra is a chat. I saw him in chat earlier. I hope he's still here. He's cool. That's it. Uh, Syndic? Uh, Amok is recruiting. Hit me up. Uh, also, thanks LTR, Alter, whatever the fuck, and Kosacek for uh, lending some semblance of importance to this podcast or stream <laughs> or whatever it is. This is why we need to kick Amok. They can't speak coherent sentences. But then we'd lose the super capital backbone of the alliance. Plus, Amok is uh, Sundering Sister Alliance or Corporation. The also Don. Don uh, don't forget number three in Z kill. Yes. We would, in the Alliance. We'd be alliance. greatly remiss so. about that. Uh, Ms. Just... Rooney, final thoughts, shout outs for the week? Um, well, this week I'm going to announce that um, some of us in the EVE North Carolina Discord have gotten together and we are going to be doing a EVE North Carolina. If you do a meetup, can you pretty please do it in half your state that they awesomely named the Great Dismal Swamp? Uh, we were we were actually thinking the the Raleigh area uh, and the surrounding towns around it. Um, mainly, it's because uh, one of our fellow North Carolinians is opening up an esports bar, which is like really cool. And uh, if you don't, if you've never seen what an esports bar looks like, I uh, there's a ton, ton of videos on YouTube about it. It's like really popular in California. Do they play Street Fighter Four? Uh, that's exactly the point, though. You play games like Street Fighter. No, Smash but they Brothers, play, right? It, and are they, there uh, actually people who play Street Fighter Four? As far as I know, yes. Is it still uh, all about Super Smash Bros? And Great, so yes. we're going to be holding like local, um little local tournaments every night they have there there's prize money involved there's drinks and uh he's opening up shop in a month or two i think so we're not gonna be able to to plan the meetup for like on opening week or anything like that but uh i i kind of wanted to not only celebrate the fact that a fellow eve person is opening up a business but uh I wanted to celebrate North Carolina. I mean, like we've had tons and tons of meets across the U S uh, that filled in for what, weren't you the first state to do transgender bathroom bills? Possibly. I don't know. Maybe Lord you Ohio. were. Yes. Where did um, that come from? I just, while we were praising North Carolina, I was okay. But uh, but it's going to be really fun. We're going to go check out his bars here in North Carolina. We have an, a, a metric shit ton of breweries with uh, local only beer that is surprisingly really, really well made. Uh, so we have a ton of stuff down here for people to do. So watch out for stuff like that where we're going to start the planning process for that. Is Torvald and Goons? I don't know. I don't know, but I know he's in North Carolina. Someone in chat talking about a meetup, and I was like, I didn't know Torvald was in Goon. I don't know. People do meetups all the time. Um, all right. Well, I appreciate everybody that came. Our guests had to leave. I think they've got to prepare for something. Take us um, home, Don. I uh, always appreciate our, our regulars, as well as our semi-regulars, and all of our cool uh, Twitch chat people. Thank you for the hype train we had today with the the multiple gifted subs at the beginning of the night it's a nice way to start the week and if you guys want to hang out with us in theta we're always available so um i just want to thank everybody for coming i got i got i got one more thing okay okay always remember people everybody to everybody that everyone has feelings and i think we can all say good night at that good night guys good night oh rampage Inc. here i got a link Oh, Brisk rated us anyways. Thanks, yeah. Brisk. Thank you, Brisk. Thanks, Brisk. Catch you all next week.